Hey, what's up, food fiends? Today I went to Church's Chicken. I decided to go there in my mind anyway last weekend, but for some reason craved pasta at the time, but that didn't work out as well as I planned. So this weekend, uh, committed to getting it. Um, if you're wondering, the only Church's Chicken in Hawaii is at the Pearl Ridge Shopping Center. And it's in the uptown area downstairs below Macy's. So the best way to get there is I believe, you know, go park on the bottom side where Five Guys Burgers are and Pyology on that side. Um, and then you walk in the middle and that's the food court. So when I went there, it was pretty empty. There was only one person in front of me. The person that served me was nice. Um, got the food pretty fast, so I picked a two-piece meal. Uh, comes with uh, two dark pieces, so I got a thigh and a drumstick. You get their famous honey biscuit and one side. So I picked mashed potatoes. I also wanted to try something that you don't see in any other chicken franchise, which is the church's jalapeno poppers. So we'll put it up here. Uh, it comes in this nice big bag for some reason, even though there's only like four. Um, so this is what they look like. They look pretty crispy. And we'll dig in. Mm. Really nice crispy batter. Um, it's not too greasy nice and crisp. The inside's very um, moist, it's not dry at all. Good flavor on the batter and on the chicken. It's been brined really well. A little on the salty side, but it's fine if you have a starch with it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I haven't had churches in a while. The last time I went there, it was just okay. I mean, it didn't give me any memories of like blowing my mind, but this is really, really good. Try the potatoes here. Hmm. Interesting. The gravy has a weird sour taste. I don't know how to put my finger on it. Like, I really don't know what that is. I mean, it's not gross. It's kind of vinegary. So very interesting to compare mashed potatoes between Popeye's, KFC, and uh, Jollibee. We'll take a bite into this honey biscuit. It's got this nice shiny glaze on it. It's pretty neat. Mm. That's really nice. You can really taste the sweetness in the biscuit. It's not too dry. I mean, most biscuits are dry anyway, but not like um, Popeyes or KFC. They can get a little dry. This one's a little bit more moister. And then we'll taste these jalapeno poppers. Mm. Inside has um, cheddar cheese inside a pickled jalapeno. Has a kick. Nice flavor and it's crispy and crunchy. I like it. I'm a pretty predictable person, so whenever I have southern food or any kind of fried chicken, I always get Dr. Pepper. I don't know why, but I, I do enjoy it. I know some people don't care for Dr. Pepper at all, but I love it, so if it's there, I'll get it.
I will say that's one of the least favorite mashed potatoes I've had comparing all the national food chains. I mean, it's okay, but it's, I mean, I think Popeye's does it better, even KFC. Um, it's just, you can tell it's like powdered mashed potato. And then the gravy sourness is just kind of strange to me. But I mean, it's not bad. I'll still eat it. But out of all three, Popeye's is the best. I really like their breading. The batter is so crispy. Listen to that crunch. Really good. The thigh is also not dry at all. Nice and um, crispy on the outside, moist on the inside, good flavor. The only thing though is like this is the smallest thigh I've ever seen so it's like a mini chicken which is good I guess they don't serve chicken with hormones or whatnot but if you're a bigger person like a, a guy a two-piece definitely is not for you you'll probably still feel hungry you'd probably want a three piece or more so what has everybody been up to any updates um, as far as Hawaii Yesterday, we got locked down again due to rising COVID-19 cases. And then today they pushed school back again. It's going to be distance learning. So um, beaches are closed, pools, bowling alleys, etc. But restaurants are still open, including dine-in. As far as me, maybe it's TMI, but this week I got diagnosed with shingles, which I thought was an old person disease. No offense, like people 60 and over or whatever, but um, at first I didn't know what it was. It's all over, like it's really weird. It's only on one side of your body and it's because it has to do with your nerves. So it's almost like, I just nickname it the adult chicken pox. So if you had chicken pox before, you're most likely to get it again when you're older. But this time it's not all over your body, it's only in one spot. N usually near your um, spine or your nerves, near your spinal cord. So, I mean, I've heard horror stories about it, like people being really in pain and such, but I guess maybe I'm lucky and blessed to have it while I am under 60. So it's not as painful because I feel okay. I mean, I've been doing my normal thing. I still go to work. Um, you're not contagious if the people around you have had chicken pox. So most everybody I know had it already. And um, if you have the chicken pox vaccine, which is most kids from the 90s and till now. So most people are all vaccinated. Um, yeah, so I've been doing going to work going to the gym every day, same thing. So I think it's just annoying. And it feels like somebody dragged you on the asphalt on your back um, or like a really bad sunburn, I don't know. So that's what has been going on with me. Hopefully your week was better. Um, but like I said, it wasn't that bad. I'm really loving these poppers. Um, I don't know how they keep all this stuff crunchy. I mean, it's been sitting out for a while. 
but these are really cheesy they've got good jalapeno flavor if you like jalapenos nice and crispy the only bummer is you get four <laughs> that's the regular sized I really don't know how many more you get when you order the large finish off this thigh I don't know if they give you extra honey honey if you ask because I didn't ask but he didn't put any in but the inside of their biscuit is very like almost cake like um, it's really soft and spongy so with extra honey this would be awesome I think so One of the better biscuits for fried chicken. I am stuffed, but last jalapeno popper. And it's hot. Really humid today. I turn on my AC, but it's very noisy, so I can't record with it on because you just hear it in the background even though I have a shotgun mic, but I'll turn it on after this, but this was very enjoyable. I'm pretty stuffed myself, but I'm a small eater. So the chicken pieces are pretty small. So like I said, if you're a bigger eater or like a tall guy, this might be too tiny for you or maybe not. I'm not sure. I didn't really finish the potatoes. Um, like I said, it was an interesting gravy taste, but actually I didn't mind. I probably would have finished it. I uh, can't see it. Let me get rid of this one. Probably would have finished it if there was more gravy, but they only put a little bit of gravy in there, so it kind of gets dry. So I just left the parts with no gravy. And if you don't know, Church's is a fried chicken chain from Texas. So you got... Popeyes, which is Louisiana, Jolly Bee Philippines, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. So this is Texas chicken. And only found at Pearl Ridge Uptown Food Court. So we'll go over the price. Price for a two-piece dark meat with one side and one drink is $8.99. Not bad. I got one small portion of the jalapeno bombers which is 329 with tax it's 1286 altogether um, we'll go over the pros and cons pros delicious delicious chicken I really like it I would definitely put it above KFC not a fan of KFC every time it's in inconsistent to me it's either uh, really hard and dry for their crispy um, and I'm just not a fan of their original chicken. I don't like the sogginess of it, but it's either good or it's hard and dry. I didn't, I don't really care for their chicken. The sides, however, for KFC, I like. Um, so this would be number two for me. I'm a fan of Popeye's chicken, so that would be number one. Uh, moist meat in the inside. I know some people don't like that word moist, but I don't know what else to say. It's not dry at all. It's cooked perfectly where um, they have talent where they can have the batter crispy and crunchy and keep it that way even after the drive home and it's just, you know, ready to go for everybody to eat because they didn't make it to order. But yet the inside is not dry, so that's great. And the seasoning's great. It was brined really well. It's not under seasoned or anything like that. Um, it's not spicy, it's just a regular chicken. So it's not like Popeye's where you can choose spicy anyway. He didn't ask me. Um, the potatoes, I've already gone through that. The gravy was very interesting. It had a sour note to it. I don't know what it was, but it was tolerable. The jalapeno popper, very cheesy. Uh, nice kick if you like jalapenos or spicy things. And it's nice and crunchy. The only um, thing I would complain about is it's a small portion. Um, but if you want two sides, you would have to pay for extra. The biscuit was very unique. 
although tiny. It's not dry like other biscuits either. It's kind of cake-like in the middle. Um, I like the honey that's glazed on the top. Gives it a nice sweetness. Yet the top outside crust was still crunchy like a biscuit. So all in all, I liked it. The only con would be the potatoes. Not enough gravy, and the gravy was interesting, different. Um, and the small chicken pieces. I guess they get mini chickens for their chickens, but um, other than that, I, I liked this meal. This was good. It was a good deal for the price. Didn't have to wait very long. Um, I know there was more churches around the island before and they all closed down, but I don't know why. This one, it was really good. So try it out if you're ever in the Pearl Ridge area. Definitely check it out. It's a pretty good deal if you're looking for a fast lunch and you're craving fried chicken and something different other than Popeyes and KFC. So until next time, I'll see you on another food adventure. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.